I'm Tyler Coker, and I'm your host for today's episode of Today with Tyler. I hope you enjoy. The Baltimore Ravens have the potential to be one of the best rosters when healthy, but unfortunately this year, we didn't get to see them healthy at all. So let's break down what they can build off from this season, since they had so many injuries it's hard to tell whether they were even good or not. Their key free agents, they have a decent amount, is Calais Campbell, their edge rusher, Brandon Williams, their DT, Sammy Watkins, one of their wide receiver depths, Patrick Ricard, their fullback, I wouldn't be surprised if he resigns just because no one really uses a fullback, Justin Houston, the linebacker, Anthony Averett, their corner, Tyler Huntley, their backup quarterback, who was actually surprisingly good, and Bradley Bozeman, their center. So a lot of free agents, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them also resign just because the Ravens are a good team, have a good thing going, and people don't really seem to like leaving Baltimore. So I wouldn't be surprised if almost all of them stayed, except for maybe Justin Houston, but that's mostly because he's old and probably may not even get an offer. So that being said, let's get into the actual team. Lamar Jackson deserves better, but he was undeniably in the MVP conversation until he got hurt, and so they didn't really have any worries. He can throw, we found that out. He can run, we already knew that. I'd be worried as they continue to get better as a team that he's going to get better as a quarterback since he already won the MVP. Uh, their wide receiver core is improving, but it still needs help, a lot of help. I would like to see another wide receiver added since, um, yes, I do love Rashad Bateman and Hollywood Brown has kind of shown a little bit of flashes of good wide receiving, but in the end, they don't really have a true wide receiver one yet. We didn't get to see much of Bateman and Hollywood Brown still isn't great. He hasn't lived up to the Hollywood name. So I would like to see them add maybe a bigger guy. Someone like Drake London out of USC would be great, but is that realistic with what they actually need? Maybe not. Um, if Watkin leaves, they really don't have much depth either. So they certainly need to keep building off this team and keep improving that wide receiver room because while they are making steps in the right direction, they haven't found immediate success yet, and so they need to keep building. Uh, luckily, it's not as burning of an issue as some of the other teams that had a wide receiver one because they have Mark Andrews at tight end. Mark Andrews is one of the best tight ends and one of the most reliable tight ends, and in the red zone, I would rather die than try to fight him. He is fantastic, and without, them, without him, the Ravens would struggle a lot and would have won significantly less games than they already did. The running back room, unfortunately, we didn't get to see this year, but it's a good one. They have a lot of good running backs. J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards are both really good running backs who we just didn't get to see because they were hurt. So they don't have to worry about the running game with Lamar, Edwards, and Dobbins. They have a lot of potential and a lot of potential for success, but their O-line is a real issue here. Ronnie Stanley is hurt, but he still struggled mindedly when he was playing. Alejandro Villanueva is also really bad and just kind of needs to retire. He's a little too old now. Um, Tyre Phillips also struggled, but their O-line shining stars were Bradley Bozeman, who was a free agent, and Kevin Zeitler, who anchored the line, and they were the only effective projectors for Lamar Jackson. So O-line is going to be one of their biggest needs this offseason, purely because they don't have a good left tackle. They need a lot of help, and they need a lot of tackle help, and so don't be surprised when they go looking for someone like Trevor Penning. Their defense also saw a ton of injuries because that was kind of the theme with the Ravens this year. Um, on their depth chart, they had so many injuries that you can't even see the names of people like Marlon Humphrey, who was one of their starters, and it was proof that this unit was rocked with injuries. Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey are both really good, so it'll be exciting to see them come back and get healthy for a year. Um, unfortunately, Anthony Averett didn't really take advantage of the opportunity where they had both missing corners out. But luckily, they will have two returning good corners to be able to save them. Uh, their safety lineup is also pretty good when healthy. So once again, the health really does matter in how the Ravens do. Um, they didn't suffer as many injuries in the box, but they still lost Derek Wolf and two nose tackles over the course of last season. They desperately need to bring back Justin Houston or some other sort of outsider to linebacking help. But their linebacker room is almost complete. So Luckily, they don't have to move too much. Houston, Josh Bynes, and Tyus Bauer, Bowser all did extremely well this year, but the only hole was Patrick Queen, who got a 42.3 PFF grade. And 
while PFF isn't perfect, a 42.3 is a 42.3. That's not good. So they do have some areas for improvement on the defense, but most of it is getting that training staff to be able to work and getting an offensive line for Lamar Jackson. So with that being said, I have their positional needs as offensive tackle, offensive guard, linebacker, corner, and wide receiver. Those are the top five. And then an ideal draft would be if Charles Cross from Mississippi State falls, I could see them drafting him there. He would be fantastic as a left tackle. Um, but more realistically, I could see him drafting Trevor Penning or Kenyon Green. They're both O-linemen who are more likely to be able to be around in that 14 spot where the Ravens are sitting right now. And they're both really, really good talents. So I kind of am undoubting that they're going to go with offensive line to be able to fix. Uh, in the second, I have them taking Lekitis Smith, the Virginia Tech guard. This is a little bit throwing off the whole idea of positional value. This is more me just trying to get the best O-line I can for Lamar. I wouldn't be surprised if they went wide receiver here and went waited until the fourth to get a guard because the fourth is kind of the hot spot for guards lately. And then in the third, I have Brian Osimo, the second, the Oklahoma linebacker, and Khalir Shakir, the wide receiver from Boise State. So I, especially with that Khalil, Sh Khalil Shakir pick, I could see that changing a lot. Uh, not only because it's a third round wide receiver, but also because I could see him taking a guard here instead and going with a second round wide receiver like Jahan Dodson or Romeo Dubs or David Bell, someone who's going to be able to go and make plays. Uh, if Drake London falls, I absolutely want them to draft him. He is perfect. He fits a big wide receiver role, which they don't really have yet. So the Ravens have a lot of potential. And if they're healthy this year, it's going to be worrisome for the rest of the NFL. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed breaking down the Ravens and thank you for listening.